Hello. This is a very unplanned video. Uh, I'm going to try to talk as fast as I can. Bottom line, this table was done five years ago, stone coat countertop epoxy, all the exact same prep work as a countertop, and then a color coat, and then a clear flood coat. There was no ultimate top coat back then or any of these other top coats that people use. It's just clear epoxy from five years ago. I'm going to try to get as close as I can and show you what it looks like. That there's no deep scratches in it. It's still just as vibrant. Also, if you notice, when I get up close, it's still got bright white, not crazy ambering. And this actually sits by a sliding glass door. This is used every single day. This is my like dump table, basically, when I walk in the house. Keys, purse, dog leash, everything, mail. This is that spot everything gets thrown on when I first walk in the house. Look how vivid the whites still are. There is, that's dog hair. Also, when you have animals, it's like impossible to film and take pictures of epoxy. Look at the pinks and the white, still super bright. And I turned off, there we go. So I turned off the light in this room so I could really get the flash to work. Now, I'm trying to find like a darker spot. Do you see right here, these like little round so that's micro scratching. Uh, that's literally on everything. Go turn your flash on, your marble, or your granite, or your laminate. Go look at your car. Go look at any surface that is used every day. You're gonna have micro scratches. 100% normal. Doorknobs get them. It's normal. What my point is, there's no deep scratching anywhere and colors are still vivid so tons of opinions out there I'm just one more but it's just another viewpoint you'll see me in stone coat groups RK3 designs artist till death and I'm always saying I love clear flood coat because I do it is my favorite finish. Time and place for everything. I also don't have like a bunch of kids running around. I have time to let things cure for the full 30 days. I understand that there's different reasons to use top coats and different reasons to use different styles of top coats. As I said, I've used matte, I've used gloss. Um, I have a video on that. I also have another video on a kitchen counter after one year use, right next to the stove, every single day, hot pans, everything, and there was nothing wrong with it. So, just wanted to put this out there real quick. One more look at a clear flood coat five years later things that I didn't necessarily I didn't uh, do the edges which I would do now so there are some spots um, right on the edge that didn't like fill in and I used a lot of glitter in this piece but other than that when you turn on the light turn off the flash so in this particular room, it is not very bright, but you can kind of see the reflection of my phone in my hand. And you can see it's still like glass. There you go, five years. So this was, as I said, when I was still just learning uh, 
six years ago I started with epoxy and I haven't stopped and I still just love the clear flood coat of epoxy that high gloss shine tell me what you think if you have any questions please ask in the comments I try to answer everything and I'll see you on the next video all right bye bye